So then we must not sleep as do the rest, but must stay alert and sober. The first epistle to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 6. There are many ways of promoting Christian wakefulness. Among the rest, let me strongly advise Christians to converse together concerning the ways of the Lord. Christian and hopeful, as they journeyed toward the celestial city, said to themselves, To prevent drowsiness in this place, let us fall into good discourse. Christian inquired, Brother, where shall we begin? Hopeful answered, Where God began with us. Then Christian sang this song. When saints do sleepy grow, let them come hither, and hear how those two pilgrims walk together. Yea, let them learn of them in any wise, thus to keep open their drowsy, slumbering eyes. Saints' fellowship, if managed well, keeps them awake, and that in spite of hell. Christians who isolate themselves and walk alone are very liable to grow, grow drowsy. Keep Christian company and you will be kept wakeful by it and refreshed and encouraged to make quicker progress on the road to heaven. But as you thus take sweet counsel with others in the way of God, take care that the theme of your converse is the Lord Jesus. Let the eye of faith be constantly looking to him. Let your heart be full of him and let your lips speak of his worth. Brothers and sisters, you must live near to the cross, and you will not sleep. Labour to impress yourself with a deep sense of the value of the place to which you are going. If you remember that you are going to heaven, you will not sleep on the road. If you think hell is behind you, and the devil is in hot pursuit, you will not delay. Would the murderer sleep with the avenger of blood behind him and the city of refuge distant before him? Brothers and sisters, will you sleep while the pearly gates are open, with the songs of angels waiting for you to join them, a crown of gold ready for your brow? Oh no, in holy fellowship continue to watch and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Amen.